Hey guys, today we're going to talk about another job in the restaurant industry and that's filling salt and pepper shakers. Here I have a salt shaker and that's what we're going to focus on today, but a pepper shaker is just the same. Okay, the first step in filling a salt shaker is getting a nice clean salt shaker from the dish room. Now what's important here is that you get a clean salt shaker, but more importantly, you want a dry salt shaker. If you fill this with salt when it's still wet, that salt inside of it's going to get really hard and it's not going to be any good for anybody. The same way with the pepper. You want to make sure that it's dry. Anything that you do, you want to make sure it's clean and you want to make sure that it's dry. Okay? So the first step in filling this salt shaker is getting a nice clean dry one. The next step is taking the lid off. Okay? When the lid unscrews, you just turn it to the left and it unscrews. The next thing, in a lot of places you can use a funnel and in this case we're going to use a funnel. It makes things a lot easier and a lot more clean when you're finished. So you put the funnel inside the hole of the salt shaker then you take your salt. The salt's going to come in different kinds of containers. We're going to use a container like this. From the store a lot of the containers are shaped like this too um, and they have a little a little spout at the top of them. Okay, the key to this is to go slow. We don't want to go fast and we spill salt everywhere. Okay, so we want to go slow because is if we make a mess, it's a mess that we're going to have to clean up. So the easiest thing to do is not make a mess. So we're going to fill the salt shaker and we're going to fill it to right about here because when we take this we're going to fill it to right where the neck starts to come up, right to where there's a little line right here in the glass. Because when we take this funnel off, there's going to be a little bit more salt left in it, and we don't want it to spill everywhere. And right there is about as much salt as we need for a day's use. So we take the funnel out, we put the lid back on, and we screw it to the right until it stops. We don't want to leave it loose because whenever somebody goes to use the salt we don't want the lid to pop off. But we don't want it too tight so that way whenever somebody goes to fill it next time it, they don't struggle to get the lid off. So we want it just tight enough to where it's not going to fall off. Okay? It's something to practice. And then that one's done. And we'll do another one. We'll grab our next one, our nice clean dry one. We'll take the lid off of it. Put it to the side, put the funnel in, start to fill it up. We're going to fill it up right to here, right to where that neck starts to, to turn. We're going to go slow because we don't want to make a mess all over our table that we'll have to clean up later. Nobody's going to clean up our mess for us. We're going to have to clean it up. So sometimes it's going to go kind of slow. It's going to get too much salt in it. And it's going to go kind of slow, so you're going to pick up the funnel and you're going to kind of tap it around to make sure you get all that salt out. Sometimes there's a hard piece of salt in there or whatever. Okay? So whenever that happens, you just pick it up and wiggle it a little bit and that salt will work its way down. So we have that filled up. We stopped right there at the neck. And now we put the lid back on we tighten it down, not too tight, but we make sure it's tight enough that it's not going to fall off. And now we keep going. We do that until all of our work is done. However many they gave us, that's how many we're going to do. And we make sure we do the even number of salt shakers and pepper shakers, however many we're told by our boss to do. So this is an important skill because in all restaurants, they're going to make, they're going to fill salt and pepper shakers, but they're also going to fill ketchup bottles, they're going to fill mustard bottles, they're going to fill dressings, they're going to fill maybe syrups. There's a lot of things that you can be filling in a restaurant that uses these same principles of getting a nice clean dry container, filling it with the appropriate condiment that you're going to use, and not making a mess when you're doing it. Okay, so using salt is a good way to start but I want you to understand there's a lot of different things you could be filling in a restaurant. It's not just salt and pepper. So practice this. Get good at it because it's a job that's going to be done every day if you're working in a restaurant. 
and have fun doing them. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.